Hello everyone, what is up? It is me, LBMTG. For today's video, we are going to be opening up my prizes from the Corset 2020 pre-release. As you guys can uh, see here, I'm about to show you how many packs we have to open. So there's three packs, followed up by another three packs for six, three more for nine, another three here for uh, 12 packs, and then again another three to make it a total of 15 packs that we'll be opening up here in this video. I guess it also works. I can... Uh, Put these all sideways. I don't know if they'll all fit in shot or not, but as you guys can see, we're going to be opening quite a few packs here. Uh, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start opening these packs. It is extremely hot here in my room, and I can't have the fans on because, of course, that would ruin the sound quality of the uh, of the video. So we're just going to go ahead and uh, rifle through these about as fast as we can. Start getting to some uncommons like Rapacious Dragon, Season of Growth, Devout Decree. Gargos and a foil mountain to go along with a dismal backwater. I will certainly take a foil mountain. Foil mountains are always, uh, well, just foil basics in general are always nice to have. And I love the new uh, tokens as well. These tokens look great. This one here being a soldier token. So nice little foil mountain to start things off. If you guys didn't see my video when we talked about some of the changes that were coming to Magic with Core Set 2020, uh, they did actually increase the number of foils that you'll be receiving in these packs. So it's a little bit more likely that you'll pull foils which is nice to see with the uh, Foil Mountain we just opened. And here is a Mystic Forge to go along with a Thornwood Falls as our second pack. Not too bad. Thornwood Falls seems like a... or not Thornwood Falls. Uh, Mystic Forge seems like a pretty interesting little card for, for some like colorless EDH decks. Uh, again, we'll get to some Uncommons. God's Willing upshifted to Uncommon. Uh, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Noxious Grasp, and we've got a Tail's End along with a Rugged Highlands. The uh, the Tail's End was something that I actually opened up a pack foil of during one of my pre-release events. I got a pack foil Tail's End and a pack foil uh, Shifting Ceratops were the two rares that I opened in pack foils. And then I can't remember all of my uh, pre-release promos, but we'll try and go through them here after we look at Cryptic Caves, uh, Cerulean Drake, Diamond Knight, and not too bad, a nice little mythic here, Mu Yanling Skydancer, one of the sweet planeswalkers from this set. So I believe my pre-release promos were Cavalier of the Dawn, which is the white uh, Cavalier. Um, I had Dungeon Geist as a promo, Temple of Malady as another promo, and can't recall the other one right now, but... Uh, Got God's Willing again, Dragon Mage, Tomebound Lich, and a Villus Broker of Blood. But overall, my pre-release uh, promos were, were pretty nice. I can't remember what the other one was, though, which is kind of annoying. I remember it being pretty bad, but I don't remember specifically what it was. Alright, on to the next pack. We've got a Captivating Gyre, a Herald of the Sun, Scuttlemutt and Loxodon Life Chanter with a foil Griffin Protector here. Again, you guys can already see the uh, increased number of foils that we're seeing in these packs. Um, I believe it went from something like one in, I want to say like one in six packs to one in four packs or something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers off the top of my head, um, but I do know that they were increased. Here we have an Air Elemental, we have an Angel of Vitality a hardcover, as well as a Yarrick the Desecrated. Not too bad. This is actually my side. Oh, we have a Foil Angel of Vitality as well to go along with the uh, the non-foil one that we opened there. But Yarrick is pretty sweet. This is my second Yarrick. I opened up another one of these at pre-release as well. I uh, played him in one of my pre-release decks that I think I went... I think I went two in one with that one, but I only ever drew Yarrick one time. But Yarrick's pretty sweet. I like him. I think foil copies of Yark right now are like $37 or something like that. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, here we have an Angel of Vitality, non-foil this time. Uh, we've got Mask of Immolation, Yarrick's Wave Crasher. And we have Steel Overseer. I will certainly take a Steel Overseer. Modern playable cards are fantastic. In fact, speaking of modern playable uh, artifacts from this set that I'd like to open, I do need to get my hands on two more Graph Diggers Cage as soon as possible. Of course, there is a Band and Restricted announcement coming out tomorrow, which might end up seeing the, uh, <laughs> the end of the Hogak deck. Um, but I would like to get my hands on some Graph Diggers Cage now that they're a lot cheaper. Uh, Eternal Isolation, Thrashing Brontodon, Ember Hauler, as well as a Cavalier of Night. Not too bad, another Mythic. I believe Cavalier of Night is either the 
third or fourth most expensive one. I know Cavalier of Dawn, which is the white one, is the least expensive of the Cavaliers, but I will certainly take a Cavalier of Night. Very sweet card. Most of these Cavaliers are actually pretty sweet. I like even the the white one, even though it's the cheapest. I still think it might be playable in EDH. It's a it, it seems like a fine card for for that format. All right. We've got Unchained Berserker. We've got a Noxious Grasp, Overcome, and Scheming Symmetry. It does also feel like we have a foil common. Oh wait, no, it's just an evolving wilds. That was unfortunate. It felt like we had a foil there. Oh well. Scheming Symmetry, though, we will take. I believe it's like four dollars right now, the Scheming Symmetry. Um, speaking of like card prices on these and everything, um, if you guys are trading using my sponsor Card Sphere. Uh, they do waive the fees. The 1% fee that uh, is normally taken out gets waived for all cards from Corset 2020 as well as all cards from uh, different pre-release sets. So if you're sending out any pre-release promo or any Corset 2020 card, they waive the 1% transaction fee for... Uh, for I, I don't actually know how long it is, but it should be for maybe a week or two. Um, so you have plenty of time to trade off some of these Corset 2020 cards as well as pre-release promos that you might have. Here we have a Night Pack Ambusher and a Foil Epicure of Blood. Pretty nice along with the Scoured Barons, which actually works out pretty well with the Epicure of Blood. Pretty nice there. Alright, looks like we have one, two, three, as well as this one here. So we have four more packs remaining. In this video, again, I'm trying to get through these kind of fast because not a big fan of sitting here in super hot weather with it uh, without my fans on, but we'll get through it here. Uh, first uncommon is a Pattern Matcher, an Air Elemental, Diviner's Lockbox, and Field of the Dead. Oh, as well as a Foil Pacifism. I like the Pacifism from this set, and I like the uh, the artwork as well. Can't a fella get a moment's piece around here? Very nice, as well as just the uh, the artwork here of this this dude just trying to he's just trying to knit a sweater and there's people just I guess it's a sweater I don't know it has a heart on it maybe it's supposed to be more of like a towel or something point is my fellow over here just needs a moment's piece to finish his knitting and we'll move on to the next pack we've got Pulse of Marasa Apostle of Purifying Light hardcover. The second Yorick, or well, I guess technically my third, because I opened up another one during pre-release, so I'm almost looking at a full playset of Yorick right now, which is pretty sweet. If we open up another one here, I might be able to just sell off the uh, the full playset of Yorick's together as a as a bundle. I think I also opened up, or ended up with three uh, Cavalier of Dawns, the, the white one. Um, <laughs> so if I open up another one of those, I could send off those as a, as a full playset as well. Herald of the Sun... Loaming Shaman, Bloodthirsty Aerialist, and a Temple of Epiphany. Not too bad. I'll, I'll gladly accept these temples, even though they're not too much. Uh, in terms of monetary value, they're still pretty sought-after cards, and people are going to need them for standard. This means we are on the last pack. We do have Mu Yanling here on this pack. We've already opened her up in this pack opening. But if you guys did enjoy this quick little pack opening, be sure to leave a like on the video, as well as tell me how your pre-release experience went. What cards did you guys open up at pre-release that were really cool? Did any of you guys get something sweet like, you know, the foil Yarrick that I mentioned there? Maybe the uh, the mythic version of Chandra? That would be another sweet one. Uh, first uncommon here, Loyal Pegasus, Might of the Masses, Rule of Law, and we'll slow roll it. We have to slow roll the last one. It is a red rare that doesn't have any loyalty or doesn't have any power or toughness, so my guess is going to be the Double Reverberate, I think is what it's called. It's like four mana and you copy two spells. That'll be my guess. Leyline of Combustion, sure, that works too. Maybe there's a foil behind here. There is a foil, however, just a foil common, but I can tell by the coloration on here that we're looking at a Thornwood Falls foil, which these in foil, never a bad thing to have some of those as well. Have a blood cave or a blood fell caves to go with it. But um Leyline of Combustion, not really what we were hoping for from the last pack, but I guess we'll I guess we'll take it. I've opened up I think two Leyline of Combustions now as well. Not having any uh, of the any, <laughs> any of the other ley lines, I've only opened the two ley line of combustions. No ley line of the void, no ley line of abundance, no ley line of anticipation, or no ley line of sanctity for me, unfortunately. But with that being said, that is all I have for today's video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. Like I said, let me know what you guys opened up during your pre-releases down below in the comment section. I'll see you guys here next time for another Magic: The Gathering video.